What's up everyone, welcome back to Freeware Favorites, and today we're taking a look at a classic. Well, a remake of a classic, that is. Wolfenstein 3D is arguably the FPS that started the FPS genre. Now, there were FPSs before and everything else, but it's what brought us Doom, which begot Duke Nukem, which begot Quake, which begot Half-Life, which begot so on and so on and so on and so on. And so, it's no surprise that there's tons and tons and tons of sequels and remakes to Wolfenstein. Including one I'm going to talk about today, which is a freeware game made by fans called Wolfram. Basically what Wolfram is, is if you ever wondered what Wolfenstein 3D would be like with slightly updated graphics, 3D models, 3D guns, being able to aim with a mouse, crouch, jump, so on and so forth. Uh, it also adds other elements like recoil, reloading, and uh, even a flashlight. So, kind of adding modern stuff to an old game. Other than that, the game consists of the very first episode of the Wolfenstein 3D episode. So, you know, the one where you escape from Castle Wolfenstein. And it recreates all these levels, all nine of them, plus the one secret level, almost perfectly. Uh, and that's a good thing, and also probably a fault. A good thing in the sense that it kind of upgrades the textures, gives them some bump mapping and all that good stuff, but a bad thing in the way that it just does that. It looks exactly the same from the original Wolfenstein 3D, and so if you're an original Wolfenstein 3D fan, you're going to feel right at home. If you've never played Wolfenstein 3D before, you're going to find the corridors very maze-like, very empty. There's not much to anything. In fact, there are a lot of really long hallways with nothing in it in Wolfenstein 3D. And if you're a fan that came from FPS, genre background, this probably ain't going to bother you too much, but when you do do a loving remake like this, it would have been nice if the developers uh, probably would have added something to it. Uh, kind of like how Black Mesa, when they did their remake of the first Half-Life, sort of added extra things to the corridors while staying true to the original level design. So that's probably one of my biggest gripes. As for other gripes, well, there is only the four weapons, a knife, a luger, an automatic, and a, a minigun, I think it is. And that's fine and dandy, and the new reload mechanic is cool and all. But they just don't seem to pack the kind of punch that the original weapons did. And the enemies seem to have this super quality to be able to shoot you upon immediately seeing you. Now granted, they're still pretty stupid and they don't take much to kill. And it also is pretty neat that they have ragdoll physics, almost hilariously so. But ultimately, they're not going to give you too much of a headache, especially on the easier difficulty. More hardcore FPS veterans are probably going to want to play this on the harder difficulty. Otherwise, you might find yourself bored while you're wandering through empty corridors with hardly any enemies in it. Laws and all, if you're an original fan of Wolfenstein 3D, this is the definite download considering the fact that it's completely free. It has a nice little element of little polish to it. It obviously isn't doing anything new, nor it's trying to. It just feels like there's a fresh coat of 3D paint on everything. Newer FPS fans that will find it unbearable to wade through the pixelated paintings of the original Wolfenstein 3D might be able to find this one a little more tolerable, especially with the updates like jumping and crouching and reloading and the such. But still, beware, this game is maze-like. Flaws and all, this is still Wolfenstein 3D. Just a little prettier. And therefore, go check it out. Download link is below in the description. Thanks, everyone. As always, if you like this, share it with your friends, rate, and leave a comment down below so I know I'm doing my job, which is hopefully entertaining you, which puts a smile on my face. Till next time, game fans, keep playing, and thanks for watching.